Uh, first, I want to thank our, our fans for coming out tonight. I thought it was, uh, you know, an electric atmosphere in there for our first playoff game. Uh, I was hoping we could tie the game up because I think it would have got really crazy there for a while. But for the most part, I thought we played a, a pretty solid playoff game. You know, there are ebbs and flows in all games. And, uh, you know, the th beginning of the third period, I thought they, they had the probably – the better of the play, and I thought the end of the third, the last 10 minutes of the third period, I thought we had the better of the play. Uh, it was exactly the type of game we've played this team now, uh, I think, four, five times maybe in the last two years, and I think three or four of the games have been two to one. Uh, you know, So it's going to be that type of game again tomorrow night, I would think. But I feel good about the way our team played. I, I like the way we competed. I wish... Uh, and we had some great looks on the power play. I thought our special teams were good. Our, our penalty killing was strong. I thought uh, we had some good looks on the power play and uh, just weren't able to tie the game up there late. So, But we'll be back at it tomorrow and uh, look forward to competing again. They said that uh, Sean, you know, his rebound went in well after. Well, they said it's two seconds after the whistle, so or whatever after the horn. So they went to go look at it and said it was it was late, you know. And watching it, I thought it was after as well. But um, hey, those are the breaks. Sean made a great play, and uh, you know, we had some really good looks early. I mean, William talking and right in front. I don't know how he made that save. So. Uh, but that's the way it goes in the playoffs. It's, you know, you got to keep getting those and you can't get frustrated and you got to stay with it and those eventually will go in. Yeah, he had a great chance too on the penalty kill. I thought he walked in all alone there and just fired one over the net. But uh, you know, we, we threw the puck at the net at the, at the end of the game and. Like I said, I thought I was really happy with the last 10 minutes of the game. Uh, but that happens in playoff hockey. you got to weather storms. You know, that's a good hockey team over there. They're, they're going to control the pace of play at times, and you just can't get frustrated. you got to weather the storm. And when you get your opportunity, take advantage of it. I thought early in the game that was a problem. I thought the reason why they – uh, outshot us early in the game was because we lost a lot of defensive zone faceoffs, you know. And that, and that actually, that, their first goal was a result of that. So, uh, but we got we cleared cleaned that up, and I thought we were better as the game went on. Sean, how did you feel about the way you guys came out? You, looked, you started right away with really good shifts, and you were in on a lot of the plays that almost scored in there a couple times. Yeah, I mean, I thought you know we started out pretty well. Um, we really put an emphasis on building some energy up for our, our fans and our team uh, right off the bat, trying to get some hits and shots and pucks to the net and everything. I thought we did a pretty decent job with that. And I thought we did a pretty decent job throughout the night with that, too. Um, like Coach said, you know, we had quite a few chances to put the puck in the net, and it just didn't happen tonight. And uh, luckily, we get them again tomorrow. There, uh, there were no penalties in the third period. Only four of them have been penalties yeah, you know, I think for the most part it was a pretty clean game. I think, you know, hey, you know, would we have liked a call at the end? I'm sure. But they probably would have liked one in our zone too. So I thought the referees did a, a great job. I mean, if you're going to play a playoff game, there's only going to be two power plays either side. Uh, th that's going to be fine with me. What was your view of the one when Max almost scored his point? Yeah, I didn't get a great view of that. I'm hoping to look at that tonight, but probably make me sick when I see it. So, were you surprised they didn't go to replay on that one? Uh, not really, because Max didn't think it went in. And you also, like, is this a game where you, you say you need to make a lot of adjustments, or you say I like what we did and how we played and it's fine? Yeah, no, I don't think we have to make a lot of I mean, we'll watch the tape tonight. We might have to tweak a couple things, you know. But, uh, you know, I said it back in November. I really like this team. Uh, 
And I'll say it again tonight, I do. I, I like our team. I like the way we compete. I think it's a big difference a year makes. A, a year ago, we weren't even in the playoff games, you know, and now we're expected to win them. And I think that's a great step. And, uh, you know, I like where we're at right now. I like our team. And I think tomorrow night, if we put forth that effort again, you know, and we just got to be maybe a little hungrier around the net, a little more intensity around the net. But if we're able to do that, uh, then we're going to give ourselves a great chance to win the game. He did. He's a good goaltender. And, you know, we feel really comfortable with him in that. You know, first thing I'd like to say is just uh, congratulations to, to UConn. I thought the, the fans were fantastic tonight, provided the student athletes on both team with, uh, with an excellent playoff atmosphere. And uh, I was just saying on my walk over here, you don't always see that this time of year with different school breaks going on and everything. But that was, uh, that was a fun environment for, for both teams to play in. Uh, with respect to the game tonight, uh, it's, it was kind of similar to all the games we've had with, with UConn over the past two years, one goal games. Uh, I thought our team played hard from the moment the uh, puck dropped right through the end. Uh, we were fortunate to get a couple bounces, uh, uh, a couple pucks behind uh, Mr. Nichols there, and, and our goaltender, I thought, played uh, extremely well tonight. So, um, you know, it was a good win for us. We know uh, we've got a long way to go. Uh, quickly put this one behind us. Uh, Stretch, recover, and get ready for another tough one tomorrow night. What could have torn that first goal so early on two for you guys and scoring kind of an empty net? Well, I think that was the key. It wasn't really the time of the goal. It was actually scoring a goal. Um, they, they haven't come easy for us as of late. We've had a lot of chances, and they just haven't gone in. So I think that was almost just like, hey, okay, we're into the game. We're, you know, kind of settled us down a little bit. And um, uh, again, I thought we played pretty solid from that point on. Uh, I thought he was great. You know, again, that's two games back from injury, and, you know, he's only let in two goals, one each game. Uh, he's doing his job back there. I thought he played the puck extremely well, helped us on the breakout. Um, you know, he, ta he talks, he communicates very well with our defensemen. Uh, he made a couple huge saves for us. And uh, the only one that, uh, that got by him was a three-on-one, which we shouldn't have given up. So, um, again, he did his job. He was uh, certainly our MVP tonight. Uh, you know what, I th think we did a lot of the little things well tonight. Uh, I thought as the, the game, uh, the time wore on, you know, in the third period, I thought we were pretty smart about just getting pucks out and and deep and not getting caught, giving up odd man rushes, especially against their top line. Uh, you know, I think they're a pretty dynamic group. Uh, we weren't always able to get the matchup. Obviously, uh, Coach Kavanaugh did, did a good job of uh, utilizing you know, the last change at times, but I have for the most part when they were on the ice, we did a pretty good job of, of understanding what we have to do. And that's, you know, value pucks and take care of, uh, take care of the defensive side of things. I thought we did a pretty good job in the first five to seven minutes in the third period. Uh, I thought we finally got some cycling going on down low. I think we were, we were able to wear them down a little bit. Uh, and then I felt like at the, well, it was it probably around the 10 minute, uh, under 10 minute timeout? I thought they had a little bit of momentum going. And, uh, you know, it was just kind of a, a heavyweight battle from that point on, just kind of going back and forth. And, um, you know, again, I'm proud of our team. It, it literally went right down to the final face off. And uh, it was a, a good face off win for us. But even, even then, you know, they had, had, a, had pucks going towards the net and trying to jam at home. So I thought both teams played well and uh, indicative of kind of how. Close our teams are, I guess, right now. Uh, we'll we'll digest. We haven't made any lineup decisions yet, but we'll uh, we'll we'll digest it and see. But he certainly did did his job, and and I, again was our MVP. But we'll see how everybody's health is after the game and go from there. Well, yeah, I, I agree, and and faceoffs haven't necessarily been uh, uh, a strong point for us. They've gotten better over the last month. Uh, we've worked on it quite a bit, and I think our centers and our wingers are helping out more. Uh, but it's a chance at possession, you know. So you think about—I don't know how many faceoffs there were tonight, but usually somewhere in the 60 to 70 range. Uh, you know, those are those are chances at possession. So we we did a good job with that. 
um, one-on-one battles, I mean, that's playoff hockey. You know, I think we stressed that all week that playing in a, on a smaller sheet than what we're used to playing at home, um, there's going to be a lot of wall battles. And I thought we did a pretty good job of, um, of uh, doing that.